And um, today, as you can probably hear, I'm a bit ill, and I'm still gonna do this video because I promise uh, destroy 3RX that I'm going to uh, make the video he's uh, the replay he said. You can really be really effective, and he actually is going to show us how to become a better player. And from my previous subscribers uh, replays, you know that got sent in. This was particularly different. Is that um, he actually shows you um, a lot more of like how to become a better player kind of tactics because there are rare re occasions where he makes silly mistakes because some of the replays I got I got before I'm not saying they're bad but a lot of them have some major decision flaws but then they didn't get punished for it so I don't wanna booze that kind of scenario because that sort of luck doesn't happen even half of the time so it might happen once and in the video and it might just happen to be very good but in fact that could mis mislead a lot of people so this video by destroy3rx is gonna show us how to play and so T11E5 is a very old rounder tank and sorry about the voice is a bit I got a very really bad throw everything but I'm trying to do my best and I'm I enjoy doing YouTubing but as I was saying, I might quit World of Tanks. Um, I, I might. I don't know. I'm, I haven't decided. But like last week's uh, comment, um, I just have a read. So Wade said, "From your first video to this one, such a vast improvement. It's been a real pleasure watching your growth in World of Tanks and as a YouTuber." So Wade has been my ultimate subscriber. Uh, one of the first, in fact, probably the most dedicated subscriber for over the last two years, I think, two, three years almost uh, since my first video. But of course, when I did my first video, like, I no one but really watched it, and it took a while before, you know, just, you know, a lot of more people started watching. And remember, if you start your YouTubing, like, after 2011, the. Uh, the amount of views you're gonna get is very limited. If you if you started before 2011, you could get a lot more substantial viewers just because um, at those times there was less videos. So another one is uh, Benji Boy said, "I like what you're doing. Don't stop doing videos. Thanks for the lesson." And yes, I uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, and that, that, that's what I like about making YouTube and I um, do try to motivate you guys to communicate with me because I, the fun of watching this is not that you know like how many views I get no is how interactive I can be with the rest of the society uh, the community so I hope that I can uh, talk to you guys a bit more and please comment a bit more and also give me feedback I, I really love feedback really I think they're important to me so let's get to the real gameplay now so as you can see he's gone this destroyed but he's not fixing it and this is tactical actually I think this is a good idea because the gun in the T1E5 is not bad and no point in fixing the gun when you can actually be still fairly accurate and the thing is he's got a large repair kit so no need to use it unless he really needs to I guess uh, the E25 oh that was a bad decision but now he broke his gun but he's gonna wait until it repairs and now the E75 is he gonna plant a shot into the E75 lower play and he does find it that is just the this shows you how decent this gun is the IS3 can't crack open the front of a uh, uh, T115 so what you see destroyer 3RX doing well is that he is shooting the flattest part of the armor of the E25 with gold round, and that is gonna surely pen the guy. And you see, you see him. He shakes his turret. That is one of the most important tactics for your turret tanks, where you know there's a weak spot on the turret. Then make sure you shake it, especially you know you guys probably play the T34 heavy tank, the tier 8 premium. Make sure that before, like when you retreat out of the position after firing make sure you shake your turret left and right you know that could easily uh, throw the, the aim off of your capola and I hope that that's that is the kind of message I want to send to the guys watching my video I want to make it different by 
uh, giving this kind of content. So now he's, now he's fixed everything. This was a 26 percenter game. Now this is 16 percenter. How in on earth can you win this? Look at the amount of epic good players on the enemy team. Now destroy three uh, three RX. With 9k games, he's managed to get himself 1,700. That is very promising stats, I have to say. And no doubt you'll get 2k win 8 by 11k games, no problem, I think, at this rate. If this is your first account, then certainly uh, 2k win 8 within 11k games is no problem, I think. Uh, I would say your playstyle is uh, good, but there are a bit of uh, things like this where your taking the snapshots a bit carelessly but maybe that's just this one time but uh, as you can see here he's he's shooting the IS-3 in the right spot which is the flattest part of the armor that he can find and yes the T-1.5's gun is fantastic uh, and most importantly the T-1.5 has a decent armor what idiots driving the, mo the motorcycle so loud at night time idiots so, they're so stupid. Okay, so let's get back. The IS3 makes a foolish attempt to come out, and that just costed him his life. And IS3 doesn't pen the E5, of course, again. To be honest, I don't even. As as a player on the enemy team, the the IS3 is quite retarded. To be honest, to be to be training shots with a T11E5 at that range. What is he thinking about? <coughs> I don't understand it. I don't understand at all why he's doing it. I just don't understand why is IS3 shooting long range against the T11E5? That on its own is retarded enough, you know. Look, if you can't win a f win that fight, why do you go for it? You know, I just don't understand that. So, hopefully, you can learn from what I'm saying now. You know, if you're the IS3 in that situation, why would you trade with the E5? If it's not a good trade, then don't do it. Okay, now he cannot see him. Now where is the enemy batch at now? Where can he be? One second, one second left, zero second left, and he snapshots it blindly. The batch got blindshotted behind the bush, and that was the best estimate he can ever find. Because why? Why do you think he found the shot on the batch in the bush? Because that look at that bush. That is pretty much the only bush big enough and the most ideal situation for the bad chat to be in and our friend here Destroyer3RX managed to find that precise location and take that blind shot and luckily he was able to get him and now is where he is gonna show you that his stats is not a bull is not a lot of bullshit he is gonna show you basically how he's gonna do this goes for the tracks uh, he got he went for the tracks a bit too late but now he's wedging his tank on the side so the Fosh doesn't have a shot Fosh will plant another shot into him now the Fosh need to pen him one more time just to kill him but he's making it so hard that the Fosh cannot and he needs to kill the IS-3 yes the IS-3 couldn't flank him and now one versus one from against the Fosh he has all the time in the world to kill this Fosh low damage roll but Fosh has an auto loader and it's gonna take him a millennium to reload and we know our friend here is gonna carry and show us how to win this game win this certainly super super uh, bad in terms of uh, win chance and hopefully you have learnt from destroy 3rx that you know c the kind of behavior you have to have and you have to adapt to become a better player and hopefully uh, comment or also give him some support g tell him that he's done a great job go ahead guys I think that's what you should do um, but I'm not gonna talk too much today. I feel a bit ill, and um, but I do love seeing great replays like this. It's not the kind of rub, just random uh, replays I guess I receive sometimes. You know, there's some of them I don't bother showing. You know, but so oh, it's just it's so different this replay um, to the other ones I've seen. This is pure, I'd say pure skill. And to some extent, a bit of good fortune. But most of the time, he showed us that the kind of decision making he has to make, and especially that blind shot on the back chat. That is, unless he just totally blinded it. But I think it was an educated guess to where the back chat is. 
and also how he finished the Fosh and the IS-3 was textbook, basically textbook. I, I cannot say because he did that live. Remember, he had no, he didn't have it the chance to think of it in a cool-headed way. He did it all out of his instinct, and that is why I predict him definitely reaching 2,500 with Nate uh, by 15. 16k games he should be able to reach 2k and by 20k games he should definitely be 2500 win 8 at this rate hopefully you um you have enjoyed this video and we shall see you next time